If you're a big guy, this is your go-to choice. If you're a rather big guy and fine with leaning, this is your choice. If you would like to sit at a 90 degree angle, like straight on top, this is definitely your choice because you're not allowed to do that with this one. So, sit back is actually more compact than sit go. And if you look at it, it's not that big. To have appropriate comparison, here is a men's deal. And the height wise, they're almost the same. Yeah. Of course, this one is larger. It has actually a strap that you can buy for, I think, $10 more. But when I purchased the item, it was actually uh, included in the deal. Anyways, so here there is a good gripping bars and the gripping bars actually help you open it a lot easily. This is how it opens. I'm trying to show you how it works. Okay, so let's continue with the close up because I think there are some details that I need you to see. So here it is. This is how the first one pops out and you keep pulling. The other one comes out and basically the construction of Sitgo is this tubular structures which has a locking mechanism I can I think demonstrate the locking mechanism using one of the tubes here you go see see the rotation let me get really close by okay so there is actually a thin line here coming and when the lines are aligned that means the two tubes are locked to each other. There is also one issue with sit pack. It is this piece here. It breaks, sometimes it comes off. Uh, the small jolt here is not that useful. I actually don't even want to play a lot with it for the review because once it goes bad, it's really difficult to put it back in there. They say bend it, but it doesn't really work. I think that's the weakest thing about sit pack. And don't think that I'm biased right away. I actually purchased both items by paying the full retail price. So uh, I just want to share information with you. Since I just did sit pack, I thought it would be a good idea to compare sit go right next to it. And here they are actually. As you see, sit pack is a lot more compact than sit go. Even when it's not in the front, it is the case. <coughs> and you can also see that the circumference of Sitgo is a lot larger. But this comes with a benefit. Sitgo can take up to 250 pounds and with 90 degree angle. So you can actually sit vertically on this one. While Sitpack only allows you to sit on it in a lean position, like I think 70, 75 degrees. And max it goes to 220 pounds so it's not I mean we can assume that it's not as durable but I didn't have any issues with sit back I'm a heavy guy we established that right I'm 250 pounds but I've been leaning on this for hours and hours and it manages to hold on anyways let's get back to sit go the construction actually I think the main advantage of Sitgo is that it is a lot easier to master locking and unlocking because it's, let's be honest, it's really simple and you will see when I show you the tubular structure, the joints are also a lot more easy to identify. But anyways, uh, on the internet I see that on many photos the sit pack seems like it has a cushion but no, it's not a cushion. It has a, yeah. It is a better grip, but I wouldn't call this a cushion. It doesn't provide any extra comfort when it comes to sitting. Or at least it wasn't the case for me. Okay, let me show you how to unlock the sit go. Basically it rotates. I mean, you see it was almost effortless because there's actually a part here that helps you push. You just push it out and it goes like that. And I think it would be easier to borrow or let someone borrow your sit go because the instructions are here while the instructions for sit sit pack are already gone anyways oh i didn't manage to take it off properly but it's okay so once you get it into the 
what is this L position you just bring it back and lock the mechanism you need the last effort to do this and you see it's a, it's a secure fit and I'm going to zoom in and this one doesn't come off so you just put your finger in there and take it out you see the the rails are a lot more visible on Sitgo. Like, let me open it properly. So, I think this could be a good demonstration. Let me see. Okay. So basically, you need to twist and lock this. And twisting and locking is a lot easier. And because of the feeling on the hand, uh, the locking mechanism feels more secure because then, you know, you have this much way uh, to unlock it. While with Sitpack, you're not really sure. I'm not saying that it ever uh, unlocked by itself, but still, this is a more assuring stick. And then same happens here somehow. Let me see. Yeah, you can shorten it and close it. And the last bit does not actually allow you to shorten it or anything. You just lock it and you're good to go. All the height measurements or the height of justifications are happening with the second and the third jolt and you can see it goes I mean it has many options here and whoop, it's not that difficult okay so let's weigh the items first sit back sit back is about 565 grams and let's weigh sit go Sit go is 725 grams, so there's 200 grams of difference. Can you feel it? I think so. If you carry it all day long, you would definitely feel the difference, but you're cool, guys. All right, so let me show you how to unfold sit pack. It's actually really easy. You just open the thing, drop this part and hold the bottom, and then lock the tubes. And actually, you're good to go. here yeah and you're ready to queue wait in line for a museum for a play theater iPhone store whatever you need and unlocking it is actually equally easy you just they actually did a smart move here the first one that you hold to stabilize the stick and the sense of the tubes are not the same so basically you can use some twisting action when you are folding or unfolding. Anyways, I think I ruined the test. Let me fold it back. Yeah, okay, here we go again. You're good to go. Hey, so I think I should also show you the strap that I talked about. So you can actually carry it like this versus Sitco has already a chain of its own so you can put it on your back like this baby is heavy it's really good I actually <laughs> like this oh oh this is funny okay if you're too wild with it <laughs> okay so if you have this just don't be too wild okay Oh. Okay, it is now time to demonstrate how Sitco works. It's actually a bulkier unit and it feels heavier too. I can just weigh them and show you the result later. Let's just unfold it. Okay, I showed you in the close-up. You just do this. Once it's locked, you just pull the screw back. And this is the highest extension. You don't need that, at least for my height, I don't need that. Um, again, to remind you, I'm six foot. So the sitting position is radically different from sit back. But honestly, the joint structure is a lot more assuring in this one. Anyways, what I was saying is that sitting position differs. For example, on sit back, you're not allowed to, at least according to the user manual, you're not allowed to sit night at a 90 degree angle, so straight vertical. But with this guy, you can actually do it. Again, 250 pounds guy, just testing sit back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
Okay, I can actually sit and tell you. I think the Sitco has a smaller sitting area. That's why me I'm, I cannot call this uncomfortable because they are both not great chairs or they're not chairs, they're just sitting sticks. But there is something which is putting me off here. Maybe it's because I'm heavy. Again, maybe if you're a skinnier guy, then you don't need this much bulk. Anyways, let me show you again from the side. It's not like you're not allowed to lean onto this one. You can still lean. But just because you're allowed to sit 90 degrees angle, you don't necessarily need to sit at it at all times. But I'm sorry, there's, there's something off-putting about it to me. Maybe I'm, ve well, leaning is, okay, let me rephrase that. I think leaning is more of a comfortable position because then you don't feel your entire weight on your buttocks, but it is rather uh, shared between your buttocks and the angle of the stick. Closing it is really easy. You just unlock them, unlock and put it back in oh that wasn't gentle but you see at least it's durable so this is how you unfold it let's see them side by side and decide so let me show you both units from up close all right and here is the comparison of sitting areas you can see that set pack offers like four more three more inches of uh, sitting space but percentage wise I would say this is 30% of it so up to you mm, is it wider no but I think this is higher the sitting zone this is more flat yeah that's I think that's the right term sit pack is more flat than sit go